Hi, I'm going to use Procreate and show you how to shade with an Apple Pencil. What you're going to do first is draw a rough circle and hold the pencil down. Now, if it's not a perfect circle, you're going to press Edit Shape and the circle should come up as an option. You're going to press Circle and then just tap anywhere else on the screen and it should go away. My recommended pencil to use would be a 6B pencil, but soft pastels do the same job. First thing is we're going to turn this circle into a 3D sphere. So just do some contour lines, sort of making it look like a basketball in a way. So just some soft contour lines, they don't have to be perfect. Once you've done that, you're then going to do it the other way, and you're going to do this. And sort of make it seem round. Now you can see, before we've even shaded it, this sort of looks like a globe right what you've got now is a nice sort of layout for you to start shading so you can see the way the contour lines are going they're going this way that's the way you're, you're going to shade so just shade softly, following the contour lines. You can take your time on this as well, so you can make it look as good as you want it to look. So this isn't going to be perfect, but it's just a demonstration. You can take half an hour, an hour, however you, however long you need. Right, when you got to when you've got to this part, you're now going to split this just in a sort of curved line going down the front. Okay, this side, you're going to do it the same way. and then just take it to a stop here. Now you're going to move on to shading the other way. So this doesn't have to be perfect shading. You can do it. It can be have as many lines white lines in the middle as you need because once we get to shading it that all will change Try not to do that as well. <laughs> that doesn't help the shading. But that that is a tip though. If you've got one of the more recent Apple pencils, 
if you use two of your fingers and just tap on it, the colour um, list should come up. So that's just a quick tip. Also, if you double tap the page, well, if you tap the page with two fingers, it will then delete what you've just done. And then if you tap it with three pink fingers, it'll redo what you've done. So that's just a little procreate tip there. So even because I'm left-handed, uh, you can see that the side on the right is easier because I can move my hand in the right way for that. But now that I'm on the left side, it's more resistant. So it's harder for my finger to hand to do the same movement. But uh, it should be fine once you've shaded it. So. Also, when when you're shading it, you want to shade it in the same same way as your um your um your contour lines have gone as well. Right, so that's our sphere so far. That should be what you've got if you're just um trying this as well. Now, can you see up in this section? We've got a little tool that sort of looks like a finger now that is actually meant to be a finger now you can use your finger and just shade it going around like that following the contour lines and you can see how nicely it shades and this should should end up turning into a sphere a nice looking sphere so if your shading is if your shade is going really thick you there's this bar which changes the thickness of it i'd recommend having it brush size six percent but that's up to you really so just keep shading until you reach this part of the contour line. Now change directions. So just do the finishing touches, just make it look really smooth. So you should end up with something like that. Now, if we have our sun over here, so I'll just draw a little, little sun, the light will be coming down to here. So we will have the light patch around this area. So if we get out our rubber, just draw straight, make it quite thick, just draw some straight lines going down it and then Some other ones just just around the side where the light would actually hit. So it's also it's going to be darker over in this side. So if you really want to, you can go over it to make it even darker, and then it'll really look like a sphere. 
you can do this with any rounded object. Um, so you could do it with an apple. You just got to get the shape for an apple in your head and put it on the page and then the rest of it you know how to do. So you can see now this is looking a little bit darker than it was. So make sure whenever you're um, going over it as well that you're following the contour lines because they're an important part of what you need to make it look like a sphere. Because if I show you what not to do, just draw another circle. And then do straight contour lines. Does that look 3D at all? No. And then when you're shading it, you'll get this. And then that just doesn't look right. So if you follow the contour lines, you get a rounded shape. So if we go back to doing rubbing, making it look more spherical, I think that's a word, I don't even know, but uh, you should end up with something like this. Now that light, if you can see that that light patch is a bit too, um, bit too light you can again go over it finely with um, a darker pencil just really fine and then just smear it around and now that makes that light patch look like it should be there now if we just get rid of this sun there's your sphere.